the very annoying Chamber 18, and I say very annoying because this one took me forever to figure out. Other people, I don't know how the heck you figured this one out so fast. Uh, you fling yourself. You'll have to be very careful here. Place a portal at the top. Place one down there. Crawl into here. It's very annoying to get back in here. And then you need to grab the radio. He's right here. So to reiterate where that radio is, uh, from the front view, it's here. If you were to crawl through here and then come around this corner and grab it. Anyway, so you grab the radio, you get out of the room, you fling down, and make sure not to drop it. You will probably drop it. And don't drop it in the ooze like I just did. Anyway, you take it here, in this little corner here. So my recommendation is to place a portal on the ceiling and just sort of gently drop it in where it belongs or jump in with it, whatever. You, it'll probably lead to your dying or dropping it a few times. Just be very careful. The next one is in this room full of all these turrets. You know the one. Uh, knock all the turrets down and hop up here. Uh, recommended technique is, of course, to place a portal here and then place one down here, fall into, hop up, and land on the roof of this thing, and there you go. And this needs to be taken right here where the button is that actually activates the little launch pad that you can use. Okay? So that's that. And when you've got the box and you're through this door, uh, finally, this was the last one I had to find. I don't know why I missed it, but actually just drop down this hall first instead of flinging yourself. Just drop down and grab that radio and then portal yourself back up. And I recommend placing it like right here on this corner. Go through the whole fling puzzle, get yourself all the way to the top, place one on the floor, and then carefully aim down there and, and grab your uh, radio that you need by using that wall right there. And you pop down, grab the radio, jump down there. Yeah, you get the idea. Okay, so that's it for this chamber. Moving on to the end. Chamber 19. Uh, there's no radios you have to worry about. Just ride the rails for a bit, and when you finally get to, well, you know, spoiler alert everybody, in case you didn't know about this one already, the giant flaming pit of death, place a portal right here on this wall as you're riding down into the giant flaming pit of death, and fling yourself up, you know. Uh, try not to burn yourself. One, Another way, of course, is once you arrive here, just uh, place a portal down there, uh, and conveniently scoop up the radio. Whoa, but don't die. So just scoop up your radio from right there uh, in the corner of the fire pit. Okay, so you know where it is. It's in the corner of the fire pit. And this one you'll have to travel with for a while. Uh, fling yourself with it. Uh, come up through here, uh, through here even, and here. And I think it sets off somewhere in this vicinity, if I'm not mistaken. So that's all there is to that. Okay, you just went through a lot of stuff, and now you've come to this room with the five pillars in it, okay? So once again, you can identify it by having five pillars and a ladder that doesn't actually work. And what you do is you come around here to this area with a fence, okay? So once again, five pillar room, you make a right at the start, you come in here, and right here in this crawl space is where you're going to find that radio, right back here behind this pillar. And you just take it with you through the level for a bit uh, to an area with a lot of uh, cylinders. Okay, once you get to this room where you drop through the, uh, the floor and you come to the giant robotic arm thingy and you portal up to there and whatnot, uh, the radio you're looking for is right there on the table. Uh, this one's pretty easy to notice. If you really need help, it's right next to the broken portal turret that won't actually fire but will lock onto you. The place you take the radio is labeled with this, you know, over here up sign. Just uh, come to this crawl space back into here where you've got, you know, the stuff on the walls and whatnot. And this room with the flinger thingy that, um, yeah. All right, congratulations. You've made it to the very last one. This is it. Uh, it's at the bit where you portal up here, and now you're in the vents. Whoa, whoa, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're in the vents. Crawl through the sludge. Crook, 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 crook. I'm very bad at making sound effects, apparently. And somewhere... There it is. Okay. You grab it. You go up here with it. And you need to take it. You know this bit where these two guys fall down? You just uh, avoid them. You come up here. 
and it's marked by this little weird warning sign in between these two generators. So it's this floor. It's not the very top. Uh, you might be tempted to take it all the way to GLaDOS. You don't have to. You just take it right there. And that ends the achievement. After you do that, you'll have it. Feel free to uh, celebrate your victory by killing GLaDOS and burning her up in a fire and listening to music and whatnot and all that good stuff. So, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this very, very fast tutorial. I hope I was fast enough to make it within the time limit. If I didn't make it within the time limit, I broke it up into parts. So, I hope you found part one, two, and three if it was in parts. Anyway, that's it. Bye.